I have this coil here, and I have that magnet there, and I have this meter. And this is um, a 8, uh, 9.2 something nanofarad capacitor. I'm going to connect this coil to the capacitor, and then I have this magnet that's going to drag everything. Okay, so I have this coil that's going to uh, connect to that capacitor and I can move this magnet in and out and I get a voltage and it goes up to I don't know a little ways it's kind of sharp it's on a 200 millisecond scale so that's like two and a half seconds across the screen A little more bigger capacitor. That's five microfarad. Or less. So it's um hundred and eight nanofarad now. So it's uh it's another hundred nanofarad, including the original cap there. Let's connect the coil. Grab my magnet try and get this all in, in shot. And I get the same charge, basically. And then I have this other uh, 6800 microfarad capacitor which is beyond my meter, because it only goes up to 200 views, and that's 6 mils now. So, let's grab my magnet. And it still goes up to the, to the same height. Not qu I don't know, the slope is, is more gradual, but I can still get the same amplitude for that. I'm moving about the same speed. Um, to take off the big one. I don't know. It does peak out a little faster on, on much smaller. But for the amount of energy that would be stored, because that's 100 nano times 10, so this is 68,000 times bigger than this. And I get the same, you know, Maybe half the voltage. So instead of this says 20 millivolts, um, you know, for one, no, um, I don't know, 20, 40, 60, 80, one, 100 millivolts, almost 70 millivolts if it was here. Maybe I should show it this way. Meters at. 50 on 2 and 20 on 1. 20 is where I was before, but this is um, this is an APA coil. It's wound around a 1 inch tube, and it's 12 turns one direction, and that's what I'm connected to is the, the high gauge wire. That's uh, 24 because it's by filler. So this is with all capacitance. Okay. So this is with a hundred, which I'm just barely peeking in the scope there. It's not really going over. Okay, so I swapped to the higher gauge wire, but I jumped a few of the coils together because I realized it was only like um 12 and 12 and 6 so now it's 18 turns on the on the red wire and my voltage is much higher so I have to adjust my scale here 
And that's um, 200, so that's times 10. Let's chew. Too high. Put my battery millivolts on the yellow. Still 100 on the blue. Okay. And that's all capacitance. So I'll remove this other capacitance. And this is 10 now if you're right. And notice it's not that much higher. The, the, the fault of charging this is more about um, the voltage potential in, in the capacitance. Right, so if I add 100 nanofarad to 10 nanofarad. Actually seems to go up a little higher. Should reskill that blue. And then we'll add sixty-eight thousand times that much capacitance. Now we get smoothed out, it doesn't peak as much. But it's going to have a longer time to compare that voltage and feedback. Okay, well, I guess that's only plus or minus 500 millivolts. And subtracting the 6800 is actually like one and a half volts. So it's 30% for 68,000 times as much capacitance. But I think at that point it's starting to be the resistance of the wire that doesn't allow the current to continue to flow. The point is, um, coil is a source of inertia, so if you can get it going and your capacitance is at zero balance charge, infinite capacitance, then that coil would continue to run forever and it would be a superconductor. But capacitance is very limited all the time, so you're going to get a voltage differential that's going to start reducing the current. And uh, but if you have a tiny capacitance of 10 nanofarad, 110 nanofarad, 68,000 microfarad, 6 millifarad, then it was more about how much current it took to get to that point. It pushed a lot more current to fill up to that voltage than it took to fill this up to that same voltage. So it was the voltage that was stopping it from, from moving again. So if I just had a super, super huge capacitor and no resistance, you know, then I should be able to start that, charge the capacitor to a certain voltage. And this is on, you know, 200, now, 200 milliseconds. So it's two and a half seconds across the screen. That's forever. I mean, I'm used to looking at things in microseconds and milliseconds, which is not two of those, but a millionth of those. I don't know.